Hola Germán, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te va en la vida? Hi teacher. How are you, buddy? Very, very good. I'm traveling in this moment for, uh, from my, to my house. You're going home? Okay. Yes. Yeah, probably it's better, Germán, it's better to say. Give me one second. One second. It's better to say commuting. Germán, commuting. Traveling ¿Cómo? es como, generalmente es como por placer o es esporádico, pero cuando es okay. el traveling que es recurrente y de a diario lo común, decimos commuting, commuting, y ese es como el viaje de ida y regreso del trabajo a la casa y de la casa al trabajo, se llama commute. Yeah, I'm commuting right now, teacher, I'm, I, this is my commute, este es como mi, mi travesía de a diario, my commute. Okay. Can you spell, please? Sure. I'm going to send it via the chat here. Commute o commuting. Depende de cómo lo utilices, commuting. Uh, en el pasado es regular, o sea que quedaría commuted. Commuted. Okay. commuted. Commute, uh, commuting, commuted. Esas son las formas. Y el ING de commuting puede ser un sustantivo, ¿no? Que sería como el desplazamiento. Ya, yeah, ok. Community. Very good. <laughs> All right, a, so you're going a, back home? It's a great advice. advice. It is. Okay. <laughs> it is. Okay. So how, how long before you get home? ¿Cuánto tiempo te falta uh, para llegar? Normal. Ah, me falta. How, how long? Uh, 30 minutes. Is my wife. What is hey, wife. Minutes? <laughs> Lina, she's Lina, my wife. Lina, Hello, how are teacher. you, Lina? Good to see you, Lina. <laughs> Tenemos aquí a Lina y a Liana, muy parecidos. Lina y Liana. Lina y Liana. Un gusto conocerlo. <laughs> a ti, Lina, el gusto es nuestro. Okay, so. Eh, 40 minutos. Dice 40, 40 minutes. minutes. They're, they're, they're in the middle of the commute, Liana, Indiana. It's going to take uh, where, him 40 minutes. Where are they going? Going home? Home, yeah. Oh, wow. Where do they live? They live in Bogota, oh, the yeah. capital city. Well, oh, they yeah, don't I live know. in Bogota, actually. I mean, Herman works in Bogota, but he lives in a town that is near Bogota, and he commutes every day. I heard the traffic in Bogota is a nightmare. It is. I mean, no, every big no city trying. now, it's a nightmare, every city. Every big city. <laughs> Medellin is not far behind. It's crazy. I don't use my car, but only at night or early in the morning when I know that the traffic is light. But like during peak hour traffic, I never take the car out. It's impossible. Frustrating. I read something like, don't you do something with the, the license plate number? Like you can't we drive. Do. We have restrictions. Anything. And the yeah. restrictions are even more uh, extreme, I guess, in Bogota. Here, they're okay. We have one day, a whole day from, I think it's five in the morning or six in the morning. I think it's six in the morning till 8 p.m. There's one day when you cannot take your car out. And it goes by the number, by the, the last number of your, of your plate. That's oh, it. Okay. So, for instance, my my car. Uh, there's there are two cars in the house. One is the one that my my son drives, and so they have different numbers. So that's cool because today we're using the one that my son drives, and because my my car is in the shop, it's getting maintenance. So yeah. So What you can you outsmart to? the system. Yeah, <laughs> trying to find a loophole. <laughs> What about you, Liana? What are you up to this this Friday? What are you doing? Ah, uh, nothing up? really. Um, because I take classes all week, so usually by Friday I'm not really like in the mood to do very much. Because yeah, burn a lot. Your, yeah, your brain is fi uh, fried pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What did you learn today? 
Um, so we didn't really do too much. There's been like a lot of drama in the classes lately. So it's just been um, conflict resolution, basically. Conflict <laughs> resolution. Okay. What is, the, what is something that you learned lately that you were excited about or that you liked that you want to share with us? Me? Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Something exciting that I've learned. I need to think about that. Was that the um, question this week? So no, very exciting. I <laughs> no, guess. not really. Not yet. <laughs> Let me get back to you. Maybe that was the wrong question. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I'm always curious. You know, Liana, that's my that's my character. I'm curious by nature. So I'm always going to ask you questions like that, but... You know, that's what I mean, just to get to know more about you. And here we have, here we have Pausan. I, 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 I could hardly recognize her with a new hairstyle. So bright and beautiful. What do you think of Pausan's hair? It's looking fantastic. She's on fire. Look at her. Yeah, I like it. What what what, what color is that? Hello, hello everyone. I'm, I'm really happy to be here today. What's the color of your hair? Because what do you call that color? It's an excellent day for me. It's cobrizo. Oh, copper. Nice. Oh, copper. Yeah, okay. Copper. Yeah. It does copper, look like copper. Yeah. It looks very nice. It looks exotic and yeah, I like it. really <laughs> To stand out in a crowd. <laughs> Beautiful. And here you, we teacher. have. Yes. Yes, I wish I had your hair. And we have Anna America. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hey, how are you doing? Good. Here. Yeah. It's finally Friday. <laughs> It is, yeah, yeah, thank God, it is. And the, and, and the body knows, it's Friday, body. I don't know how it is. <laughs> my so, hips yeah. don't lie. Yeah, my hips don't lie, <laughs> you're right. So, yeah. what are you up to tonight? Are you going to go out? <laughs> Honestly, are we you are going to move and groove? <laughs> no, no, no. We're thinking to get groceries because I ran out of water. So, maybe I'm going to get water <laughs> after my class. I don't know how long I'm going to stay in that meeting. No so worries. Basically. We'll enjoy you for whatever long, how, for how. I long. enjoy you. So thank you. Okay. All right. So we have Anna. We have Diana. Let's talk to Diana for a minute. Diana, how are you? Can you turn your camera on? On, on, on. There she is. Where are you right now? Are you on the, in, is this public transportation? Nice. Where are you going? Can't hear you. Need to turn your microphone on. Your microphone is off. There. Hello. Hello. I are for, from my stop. So in, in four minutes, I back. You arrive home in four minutes. No, for my stop. Okay. All right. You you're getting off the bus in four minutes. And is <laughs> yes. the bus moving or is the bus stopping a lot? Mm, it's moving. <laughs> okay. And where are you? What part of the city are you in? In Willerias. San Diego. Yes. No. Well, close to San Diego, sort of. <laughs> Is she in Medellin as well? Yeah. Yes, oh, I live okay. in Medellin. Where are you headed? Where are you going? I'm going to my house. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wait a moment. I need to... I know, I know. Down, down to the bus. Safely. Don't let me interrupt you. Go ahead. Let's talk to Juan Carlos Velasquez in Palmira. I can see you wiping the sweat of your forehead. What's exactly, up? Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a hell. <laughs> it's a hell uh, uh, here uh, right now and this week. Uh, 
The warm is heavy, really. The weather is the heat. Hot. The heat, the, the, the weather is hot. And I told Lina, Liana, because she told me that uh, uh, the, 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 in, in Phil, uh, she is in one or in zero, in zero. And this uh, is 26, uh, 28, 30. Every day and 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 and, a, and few wine really. So it's, so it's complicated, but it's normal. I used to. I used to. Do you have um, air day. conditioning in your house? No, really. No, so, not really. How do you say ventilator? What? Fan. Then? Ah, okay. A fan. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, uh, no, I, 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 I would rather to, to take a shower. A cold shower? To, to try to, two times or three times in the day, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Good. It's very hot then. I mean, for me to be motivated to take a second or a third shower, it's got to be hot, really hot. Interesting. Okay, so let's talk to Alexander. How are you, Alex? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How about you? Good, man. Just here, working, teaching. Good. <laughs> Trying to teach. Excellent. And what's up with your camera? Is your camera is not working? Oh, no, it's, it's working. Ah, let me check. Okay, there. Now. Oh. Okay. And how about you? Have, you, have you? have they been keeping you busy today? Uh, yes, I need to, yeah, today I was working a lot, I, and that's why I was just studying because I need to improve some skill for, regarding to my job, so yeah, this is an important point in this moment for my, for my, um, I don't know, my, my improving uh, skills. So, your career. Yeah, for my career. And you have to stay in front of the computer for hours on end, right? Like, yeah, all hours, day. Many hours, right? All day. Yeah. All day. And how, how, do you, how do you control that working doesn't make you sick or, you know, like... Um, yeah. You know, take a toll on your body that you don't feel it. How do you, how how do you strike a balance? Mm, normally, I try to take some breaks to to relax and try uh, try to to speak with my with my girlfriend <laughs> because she is here uh, all day. So yeah, this is a way that I try to, uh, um, I don't know how can I say that, uh, disconnect a little bit. Get off. Get off. Yeah, get off a little bit. Step, step away. Yeah. And yeah, I take a, a coffee. Or, Good idea. Yeah. Because I ask because two days ago, I went to the uh, eye doctor because I need new glasses. Mm -hmm. I'm going blind, seriously. And it's because I work a lot in front of the computer. And my doctor said, well, what you need to do also, and this is a healthy practice, just step away from the screen and look into the distance. I happen to have an amazing view of my city. So just... Look into the distance for 20 seconds. And I asked my doctor, and how often do I need to do that during the day? She said, well, you should do it. It is the best you can do for your eyes. Do it every 20 minutes. Because really, minutes. in front of the screen is kind of, um, I mean, it's, it's hard on your eyes. So yeah. just step away and look into the distance for 20 seconds. Just 20 seconds. And she says, you cannot begin to imagine the difference that makes. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Also, even there are uh, theoretical uh, 
uh, I don't know how can I say that, uh, technique, from, from a lot of techniques that yeah. the, um, the purpose is that you work uh, concentrating in something for 20 minutes and then try to take a break for five minutes. Interesting. This is a good, yeah, it's a good advice to, to yeah, to try to be concentrated and advance in what you need to, to, to get or, yeah, what do you need to do? Yeah, I think you optimize your, yeah. your, you know, your, your body's energy, I guess. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. I needed to get new glasses because I was getting tired all the time. I was exhausted during my day. And yeah, she, she said, yeah, it can happen. It's one of the consequences of you being in front of the screen for so long. And then your glasses need a change. And so I bought new frames. I'm going to look sexy. I'm so excited. I bought these frames and I'm so excited. I can't wait for them to give me the call. Come pick them up because they're going to be exciting. They're super fantastic. I really, I said, I want to, you know, like I, sometimes you need to, to feel nice. See, I, I am a person who sometimes <laughs> take myself out. You know, I, let's go out, Fabian. Need no, to go. Self-esteem problems. Can I, oh my goodness. I pat myself <laughs> on the shoulder. I say, let's go out. I buy something nice for myself. So I think it's important. If you do hard work, I am the first one to celebrate myself. And I do it. I do it. Okay. When do you and wear glasses for like long distance or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I'm driving, I need glasses. Otherwise, you know, I'm a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it, it's the, that's the idea and so yeah i bought new glasses when i get them i'm gonna show them to you they're gonna be phenomenal so stylish so you know like i'm gonna be sophisticated for the first time in my life <laughs> anyhow enough about me sorry i get carried away uh who else is here johan cespedes also known as the rock for the ones that know, don't know it he's the rock johan cespedes tell us about you my friend what's what's up Hey man, how are you? How are Good you man. Guys? How is going well? <laughs> how? How is it going well? How? Um, so today I I I did some errands or medical errands with my dad. Yeah. I yeah. I had to manage how to work and do some stuff with him. It was hard because I had we had some uh, schedule pro problems with the with the appointments and it was kind of chaotic. But here we are. We did that and we survived to another work da daily work. Okay, it's amazing, man. Uh, I hope Congrats. tomorrow uh, uh, in one hour. Approximately, I'm going to, to the gym, and tomorrow I'm going to run with a friend. Yeah. With a, a teacher, with a, a good teacher. Friend, a He's a friend. good teacher. He's a better sexy than friend. you. When I get my, my glasses, you'll see. Sexy. Anyway, okay. so, so tomorrow, yes. Great. Thank you, Johan. Let's talk to A Edith. good and sexy teacher. What's up? What did you say, Paula? She said something like, you are like hey. a sexy teacher. I disagree. Sexy teacher. Yeah. I try, I try. <laughs> I try. I try. I disagree. You know. <laughs> I want to be sexy. Edith. Edith in Ciudad de Mexico. What's up, Edith? Hey, hey. What's up? Uh, everything well. <laughs> are you, do you have any plans for tonight? Um, maybe you sleep all the night. <laughs> all right. I need it. Good plan. I like it. You need it, right? Yeah. Today I had to take my dad to his doctor's appointment. So um, I'm early. I'm, I'm wake up um, uh, 
uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to to be um, I don't know I'm hello <laughs> sorry uh, today I, I wake up of, of the early early morning so I had to, to throw the city so a lot of traffic oh my god it's so nasty because <laughs> you, you live away from no. the city you live away from the city right like um well the the hospital um the from my from my house to the hospital is like uh one hour maybe no one hour and a half hour i don't know how do you say that <laughs> one and a half an hour and a half mm -hmm. okay one, one and a half, half, half hour yeah so I don't have a car, so I have to use the the bus. So so. What do you call the bus in in your city? Guagua? No. No, uh, camión. El camión. El camión. Mm -hmm. The truck. Sí, el camión. El este. <laughs> Decimos aquí. Oh, it's, it's like um, funny to say, levanta. Levanta pobres. <laughs> Levanta pobres. <laughs> <In> another ways. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I like it. Levanta Edith, pobres. Uh, which part of Mexico City are you living in? Yeah, Mexico City. Um, uh, like, my uh, town is Ajusco. Yeah. Ajusco. Yeah. One month ago here, um, well, here was nowhere. Was uh, There was... Um, Ay, ¿cómo se dice nieve? <laughs> no. Snow, no. yeah. No. One month ago, he's snowing here. So in the news, like, wow, in the city, it's, not, it's snowing. But no, the city, only here. <laughs> A part of the Ajusco. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. And uh, who else? Thank you, Edith. We have Ana Vega. How is Anna? Is Anna there? Hopefully. Or Diana. We also have Diana here. Okay, Anna Vega is here. She's wearing a mask. Hello, Anna. Are you commuting right now? I think Anna is commuting. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and Diana, how are you, Diana? Hi, how how are you? Fine, thank what's, you. And you. What's new, Diana? What's new? Um uh, no more. My day is very but very blasty. Uh, in the morning, exercise, work. Um, I'm very happy today is Friday. Anna says she's in, on Transmillennial. And, and Diana, Diana, what did you exercise today? What muscle group or what kind of exercise did you do? Were uh, you okay. on a stationary bike? Did you do push-ups? <laughs> no. Uh, today, legs, my exercise. Dang, so that's the worst. Legs. The worst day. I hate legs. Legs. legs uh, two days in, how do you say, semana? Week. Uh, two a days week. a week. Two days a week. You work your legs twice a week? Yes. Wow. Tomorrow is... Uh, running. Wow. Yeah. Um, Good uh, job. The exercise is uh, my, how do you say, forma? Forma, form, I guess. Shape. Sí. I don't know. Uh, de, como de meditar, de uh, calmar mi mente. Okay, so meditation. Quiet day, meditation. Mindfulness. Yes. Yeah. Um, when. Bueno, cuando hago ejercicio, 
When have, no. When I do an exercise, maybe? Okay. When I do exercise is uh, meditation. Okay. So that's your workout on Saturdays? Yes. Meditation. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. What mm -hmm. a nice way to train your body and your mind. And your um, spirit. Yes. Oh, good. I envy you. So balanced. Um, Deanna, how many days a week do you work out? Uh, one. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's listen again to let's listen okay. again to to um, Liana. Listen to Liana again. Okay, Deanna, how many days a week do you exercise? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, six days. Oh. Five days a week. That's dedication. It is. It is. Oh. All right. Thank you. To applaud. You know, give some applause to Diana. That's good. I think that we all need to have someone that is like that to inspire us. It's like, okay, for sure, tomorrow I'm going to work out. Bob, how many I'm going to start running with a fat guy so I look good. Bob, how many days I have are, that already uh, figured out? How many days are a week you're running right now? Oh, maybe three, four days a week. I need to get back in shape. I normally run every day, but I have to get back in shape. How many, uh, how do you say, kilometers? Oh, the last run that I did was three days ago. I ran 23, uh, 22 kilometers. It's very good. Uh, you are a beast. A beast. <laughs> uh, how do you say competes en carreras? Oh, do I do I run marathons or races? Yes, but not in the last couple of years. Since the pandemic, I haven't run a race. Ever since the pandemic, I haven't run a race. But before that, yes, many races. Okay. Why? What is the reason that? In this moment, you you are not doing that. Kind of um, I'm, 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 I'm too busy and it's on many different fronts. You know, like uh, circumstantially, and obviously that's an excuse, but, <laughs> but um, you know, like December, January, kids are on vacation. They want to hang out. So it's late night. And then I go to bed. Next morning, I got to start working or doing something and, and I get busy and I need to do the only moment that I truly can run is either very early in the morning or very late at night. You know, where people are sleeping. So last year, towards the end of the year, I was running at 11 p.m. Midnight. 11 p.m.? Yeah, 11 p.m. Midnight. Okay. And around my house is relatively. relatively <laughs> yeah, I do. What time do you sleep at then? I, I have I have my dogs also. It is relaxing. In what part of in what part of Medellin are you living? Living in Poblado. Poblado. Oh, I run transversales. I normally go. My my regular run around my house is twelve kilometers. So I, I run in one direction on one of the main streets of this high area. And then I run to the to the middle portion of the whole circle and then come back. And so I hit several hills. Yeah. Yes. Then going Hello. Up. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good technical run. And that's what I do normally. Teacher, is it his way of relaxing you? It is my way of running away from my wife. Just kidding, just kidding. It's a joke. It's Friday. It's viernes. Tranquilo. Eso no puede bromear. Es aquí. Es aquí. Es aquí. No, it just, yeah, it's a way to, it's a way to, you know what? I love reading. I love reading. I'm a, um, I'm a library mouse. I'm a bookworm. I love to read, but I don't have time to read anymore. To sit down and like 
enjoy the pages of a book. I don't have time for that. So when I run, I listen to audiobooks. You know, I pay script, Audible, so I have many books all the time, podcasts. But when I run, I only listen to books. Um, for when me, I'm doing the dishes, I listen to podcasts. I have like different moments of my day. When I'm driving, I listen to podcasts. When I'm running, I listen to books. So you're always killing two bears with that. Exactly. With a yeah. bowl, with a stone. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting in shape both physically and mentally. <laughs> Anyhow, enough about me. Let's talk about reading. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of reading. What did we start reading last time? Do you remember? A book that we were reading? A book that was going to scare Liana? ¿Cómo se dice escalofrío? Goosebumps. Goosebumps. We were reading Goosebumps. You know, The Curse of Camp, of Camp Cold Lake, I believe, is the name, right? And this was our first page. This was our first page. Okay? Where we meet the girl. I don't know if, I, if she introduced. Yeah, Sarah. Sarah. And... Aaron is, who's Aaron? Do you remember? Sarah and Aaron. Quickly, I want you to quickly scan this page and try to find who is Sarah and who is Aaron. Who are Sarah and Aaron? Who are they? Scan this page. Or a more specific question, what is the relationship between them, Sarah and Aaron? What is their relationship? As mates, maybe? Are they brothers? Maybe, maybe brothers. Impossible. They brothers? Impossible. They can't huh? be brothers because it's Sarah and Aaron. So they're not brothers. Although in today's world, you never know. <laughs> Just kidding. Sarah is a girl. Aaron is a boy. Let's, let's start ah, with that. Siblings. 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 Thank you. Siblings. Siblings. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. What is a sibling? Is the neutral, gender neutral way of calling a brother or a sister. Especially when you have a family where you have a mixed, you know, bag of brothers, sisters, and you say siblings. And you can ask this question too, is more open. I can ask Liana, Liana, do you have any siblings? Liana says, yes, I do, right? I have three yes. sisters. Oh, three sisters, you're a sisterhood. Yes. Wow. Well, obviously this is something that might offend you because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> But was your, were your parents ever, did your parents ever say, oh, we wanted a son, so we kept trying? My mom had eight brothers, so I think she was happy to have all girls. Oh, interesting. Wow. Very interesting. Did you get that? Todos entendieron eso. La mamá de Liana tenía ocho hermanos, y ya pues... Liana tiene tres hermanas y fue como para la mamá rico pues ver esa variedad. To see that variety. Like they equal. In, the family, yes. in, the family. in my case, I have two sons and one daughter. And yes, I have to be honest, I wanted a daughter, so I kept trying. And the third one, I got it. Because I had Arthur, I was super happy. Oh, a boy, yeah. And then the second one, I was hoping for a girl. I was picking out girls' names. And in my heart, obviously my intuition never worked for me. I thought she was a girl. And then but Juanita, again, the same feeling because I really wanted a girl. Why, you ask? Obviously you don't ask, but I ask myself. Why? Because I feel that you need to relate to women at different levels or dimensions 
you have your mom, you have your girlfriend, you have your wife. How about a daughter that you can have that special kind of romance? I always, I always dreamed of taking my girl out to have a cup of coffee, to enjoy some, to go to a museum and discuss stuff. Yeah, you can tell I'm a nerd. Anyway, so I wanted a girl for that, for having like that, that idea of a different kind of romance. Not the romance, romance in the typical way we see it, but more like, you know, have a girl that is under your charge, is your little one and, and sharing those special moments. That was something that inspired me. What if she was a boy though? Would you have had the tried for a fourth or no? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> That's why I was asking about you. So your your parents were looking for a boy? Yeah, maybe. Uh, not really. I, I don't think they cared. <laughs> But that's what they tell us, at least. Okay. So, yeah. do, you, do you want do you want to a boy or or or, or, a, or a girl? Me? Yes. yes. Um. So I honestly I don't know if I want children, but if I do, I would prefer a girl. Yeah. For 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 accomplish between between both between both. I yeah, guess. I don't know. I just feel like a girl would be more fun. My, my, it is, my, it is. I was going to say that. My former, and, my, my former wife uh, uh, had two, two girls more. So she has three, three girls with my daughter. And also, and also she, she told, she, she, say, she said that uh, she never uh, wanted the, the, the boy, really. So... It's a, it's a kind of, of mind. It's a mindset, yeah. A mindset, exactly. Uh, yeah, okay, I feel so. like boys are more difficult, too. It is. Trying. Here we have some of the vocabulary. I don't know if you had a chance to look at it again. Some of that vocabulary that we went over, like got off to a bad start. Se levantó con el pie izquierdo. I did some dumb things. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Dumb, being stupid. Once in a while. ¿Cómo se dice en español? De vez en cuando. De vez en cuando. De vez en cuando. What's the point of that? ¿Qué es eso? It, um, ¿Cuál es la referencia? Como, referencia como, como, ¿Viste en el punto? ¿Cómo para qué eso? ¿Para qué? Eso. And always, eso, always... Eso para qué? Yeah, always try to be colloquial. And by colloquial, I also mean traten de ir un paso más allá, como no lo que sea, como lo, lo que inmediatamente se les ocurra, sino como que derribar ese primer nivel que es como la traducción e ir a un nivel más allá que puede ser incluso distanciado en las palabras, pero que signifique lo mismo, como decir, ¿y eso pa' qué o okay? qué? In my Spanish. What's the point of that? ¿Y eso pa' qué o okay? qué? ¿Eh? Chew off. Masticar. Masticar hasta que lo arranca. Off no, es no, cárcel, ¿no? One by one. Uno por uno. Uno. Por uno. uno a uno. Ya, yeah. o uno por uno. Ya. Uno la ve. Gas. Ah, no, no, Gas. Oh, okay. Gas. Qué oh. asco. Right? Uh, what about burst out of his clothes? As an expression of happiness. Take off. To take off. Take off the, 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 the... Salirse de la ropa. Like to get out of your clothes. But in this case, the burst is more explosive, right? Oh, we were practicing the, the pronunciation of this word with Liana. Sure. Liana, can you pronounce this word again? Enthusiastic. Ta 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 ta. Did you hear that? Ta 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 ta. Can you say it one more time? Enthusiastic. Ta 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 ta. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. There you go. And uh, what is fries? I don't know why you in highly that. <laughs> fries. Just potatoes. Potatoes. Papas fritas. 
Yeah, there's a difference between fries. chips and fries. Do you do you still say French fries? I think that that was controversial for a bit, right? It was controversial, but most people will just say fries. But there are a couple of people that still say French fries, right? Yeah, like older people probably. <laughs> like me? <laughs> no, like 70. Are you, are you judging me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> French fries. Why, why, why do they have to be French? I don't get it. Interesting. Do you know any stories about why is it French? Why? I don't know, but apparently they're not even originally from France anyway. They're from Belgium. Belgium fries. Yeah, but I guess it's it's a uh, alliterate alliterative. It's alliteration, which means like rhyming, but with the beginning of words, which is so much in with the Americans. I mean, they love it. They love everything alliteration names of heroes everything is like yeah just like that aliteración es repetir el sonido al principio de la palabra so french fries that's it that's all it is up to your neck hasta el cuello hasta las orejas or even worse hasta la coronilla and mutter I think that Liana explained this to us. What is mutter? Can you give us an example? Can you mutter something? Yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah, just like this. You really don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, How would you say that in Spanish? Muttered. Murmurar. Cierto, como más? Or replica. No, como. How do you say? Sí, murmurar más hablar entre dientes. Hablar entre dientes. Okay. Yeah, como is no. That, is that a synonym of whisper? Like no, a refunfuñar. You know what the difference is? Uh, Johan, very no. good question. Mutter normally suggests an attitude. Like in this case, the attitude is glumly. Okay, you have to have a compliment. So it, it has that affectation. But whisper okay. sometimes is more circumstantial because maybe you're not supposed to talk about something about someone or in that place you go like, just like that, okay? But mutter normally has that, you know, that extra layer of something else there that is going on. Something is going on like, ah, ya llego, ah, like, Ah, oh, she's here. It's a negative, it's a, neg it's a negative word. It's a negative Normally, word. yes. I, what do you think, Liana? Is it negative or how do you feel it? How do you feel the word mother? Uh, yeah, I would say it's negative. Good point. Good, good question, uh, Juanca. And by the way, I want to point something out. It's, it's a strategy. It's a strategy to start thinking about whether a word has a positive or a negative connotation. Because once you start thinking in those terms, you have more to remember the word by, and you also capture more of the essence of what the word in use actually communicates, I think. It, it, it could be uh, used in sarcastic action also? I suppose so, yeah, absolutely. Okay, good point. Good points. You're a smart crowd. Let's continue. We're going to listen to Liana. Liana, you want to read? You want to read yeah, some? That's fine. If you get tired, you, you can stop. Okay. They said that a water sports camp would give me confidence. They said it would help make me more comfortable with the outdoors. And they said it would give me a chance to make new friends. Okay, I admit it. I don't make friends easily. I'm not like Aaron. I just can't walk up to someone and talk start talking and kidding around. I'm a little shy. Maybe it's because I'm so much taller than everyone else. I'm a whole head taller than Aaron, and he's only a year younger than I am. He's 11. <clears throat> I'm tall and very skinny. Sometimes dad calls me grasshopper. Guess how much I like that? About as much as I like swimming in a cold lake filled with hidden creatures. Be a good sport about it, Sarah, mom said. I rolled my eyes. Give camp a chance, Dad added. You might be, you might surprise yourself and have a good time. I rolled my eyes again. 
When you come home at the end of the summer, you'll probably beg us to take you camping, Dad joked. I wanted to roll my eyes again, but they were getting tired from all of the rolling. I gave my parents a glum sigh. Quick hugs. Then I followed Aaron onto the camp bus. He grinned the whole way to camp. He was really excited about learning how to water ski, and he kept asking everyone if the camp had a high diving board over the lake. Aaron made three or four good friends on the bus ride to camp. I stared out the window, watching the endless blur of trees and farms, thinking about my lucky friends who got to stay home and hang out at the mall. <laughs> then here we were at Camp Cold Lake, kids pulling their bags off the bus, laughing and joking, counselors in dark green t-shirts greeting everyone, pointing them in the right direction. I began to cheer up a bit. Maybe I will make some new friends, I thought. Maybe I'll meet some kids who are a lot like me and will have a good summer. But then I stepped into my cabin. I saw my three bunkmates. I looked around. This is good. I like it. Okay. It's a quick description of the moment prior to. Do you understand that? It's a good description of the minutes leading to something. What happened here? Who can, who can summarize what happened here? in terms of the, the, the scenes that you saw, what happened? Really short, just like boom, 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 this happened. People, people around her uh, try to, to convince or to, to say that the, the, the environment is good for, for her, but she is so, so, uh, quite, no, can't, no, is so close, close into her. So, so she decided or she, uh, she is uncomfortable in the situation, in all the situation. Good point. Good one, Juanca. Thank you. That was very good. I like the analysis where Juanca says she's close to, you know, to this new experience. She's biased, can be another word that you can use. Bias would be como sesgado. Tiene un sesgo y es porque ella piensa, she thinks that it's horrible. But people were trying to change her mind. I mean, she, her parents. she lives in, in teenagers. So teenagers is a, is a season in, in their life for, for girls and for kids that are so uh, hard for, for, for them. Good point. And I think that some teenagers have a hard time trying to, I don't know, develop new interests. And especially in today's world where everything is social network. So you say to a kid, hey, kid, let's go to, and immediately you haven't finished the sentence. They're like, ah. yeah. And you're like, what, why? What do you need to do? You're, you're, you're stuck to your phone screen. And they're like, yeah, that's my life. You know? Yeah. Anyway, anybody else has Questions, comments. Look at, look at the tree and, and, and look at the tree and, and how do you say it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Questions, comments, concerns, something that you want to take a closer look, something that maybe it's challenging your imagination. You cannot get your mind around an idea, a, a scene, or a, a word. And phrases too. Consider new vocabulary phrases like give someone a chance to, what is that? What is the word chance in this context? What is that? Does anybody know? The, the opportunity, the, the... And also the, yes, the opportunity, I don't know. The opportunity. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Fabian and down when the dad added something about, about the camp, they said the same. Like, give Cam a chance. Like, oh, good point. The, right here, that's right. Here. Yeah. Good point. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so, we have, you know, that, that phrase being recycled here. And when one is give me a chance, and in the other one is give camp a chance. So, I guess you can give anything a chance. Give that girl a chance. Give that job a chance. Give school a chance. 
Interesting. Give Mondongo a chance when you come to Medellin, Liana. You might not be disappointed. You might be you might you might surprise yourself and have a good time eating Mondongo. <laughs> okay. Good. That's by the way, that's something that you can do. Borrow a phrase or a whole paragraph and try to transform it for conversation. Okay, obviously when it's appropriate. And obviously sometimes it becomes appropriate because you drive people to be in a certain circumstance or to have a certain conversation. Like in this case, I'm inviting the Eliana to, to try Mondongo and it's completely spontaneous, but yeah, it helps me use this phrase, give Mondongo a chance. Yeah. Because I don't know if, if, if uh, Liana has had proper mondongo. I don't know if she has tripe soup. I think that the problem with tripe soup is that it's tripe. But once Yeah, like that's the problem. I, I've had like a Mexican tripe soup and I don't know. I just don't like the texture of it. You didn't like the texture? No. You're, you're, one, of, you're one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's slimy. Oh, I can feel it going down. Yeah, it's like too chewy. <laughs> too chewy. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, when I think that the, the my first impression of what the texture because you're right, it's all about texture. The texture of mondongo was like it was like towels, like I was eating soft towels when I was a kid. You don't like that, right? You're not going to give Mondongo a chance. I know. No, like I'll try it, but I just don't think I would like it. But I'll, I'll still try it. Yeah, you might be surprised. I'm using this. You yeah, might, like, be, you might well, surprise yourself. What is, the, what is the, 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 the great thing that you uh, have, have, uh, have lunch or have dinner in, your, in the countries when you, when you have visited? the the weirdest thing i had um recently in mexico i tried tacos de salta montes Ooh, rico <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so delicious <laughs> chapulines chapulines, chapulines. Sí. Mm. so rico right is is eat it still here todavía está por ahí yeah eat she's it. here yeah, i'm here They are actually so i love chapulines with spicy sauce oh my goodness with a tequila. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Love it. Fabian, also in the reading said grasshopper. They mentioned oh, by the way. A yeah, coincidence. By the by. What a coincidence. Grasshopper. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Cómo le decía el papá a la niña? The, the, grasshopper. The, saltamontes. Grilla. <laughs> <laughs> Grilla in our country. In, in my, in my part of the country, it's like a, a floozy. <laughs> As a and, 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 and it is, it is, we can we can explain with Grilla. Explain, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, it doesn't mean but that she's tall and very skinny. Okay, like a grasshopper, I suppose. Good. Hey, hey, what about this one, guys? What about this one? Can anyone throw some light on how this, why do we say this? Kidding around, what is that? Like making jokes? Yeah, making jokes. Just kidding. In, kidding. In, 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 in context, in my, in, my, in my side, in my place, recochar. Recochar, yeah, that's good. That's a good one, recochar. And pay attention, what, what if I take the word around, out? ¿Qué pasa si le quito la palabra around? ¿Todavía se conserva igual o cambia? The same. In less drama. Walk up to someone and start talking and kidding. <laughs> Maybe when, you, when they say around is for, there are um, a lot of people, no? Bueno, maybe one more, more top than two or oh. three. No, a, a collective action. Yeah, or, or talking, or talking for whatever. Yeah, 
and and there's something else. I think that it's my perception that when Americans use their language, there is a an inclination to use certain words because otherwise it sounds like it's not complete. You know, just oh yeah, and everybody's everybody started kidding. It's like sounds too abrupt, I think, to an American. Kidding. You need the around. Doesn't change anything, but it's the way you come to expect things to sound. Kidding around, maybe. But Liana, what is your sentiment? Obviously, you're the one that that could tell us better. Oh, uh, no, I think you explained it well. Like if you said, you could say like, oh, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, kidding around would be more common. But what about if you, you don't say I'm just kidding, but if you say someone is kidding or somebody started kidding and they, they're like phrases, Liana, I, I don't know if you, I don't no, want No, that would to, be like kind of weird, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to partialize your, your thinking about it because <laughs> obviously I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you think in one direction and then that the other direction becomes unavailable. You know, it's kind of that McGurk effect that we've been talking about. But I feel like there are certain expressions that just become memorized by ear, I guess. Okay. By your ears, they just become memorized and you just repeat them the same way. Oh, no, they're just kidding. They're just kidding around. Don't pay attention to them. Question. Yeah, I guess they, uh, they started uh, kidding around. Maybe that started immediately kind of activates. They need to say kidding around instead of just they started kidding because that would sound weird, right? Oh, no, they, they started kidding. That's all. Started. Kidding. Yeah, that would be weird. You suggest us that uh, we, we uh, should uh, learn this expression. Oh, yeah. The same way, for example, yeah. with, the, with the a little bit, for example, that is normal. The same, the same main, main, the, the same uh, main, structure main, phrase. But but uh, uh, we normally uh, listen both both phrases or both words. Uh -huh. Somebody was going to say something, maybe. Does anybody know what a bunk is? I have no idea. Could Liana, you... what is a bunk? Um, so in this case, it would be the people she's staying in the room with. And what does bunk beds refer to? What is that? Uh, so they're like... The, the beds on top of each other, like a bottom bunk and a top bunk. bunk. Yeah, those are bunk beds. So if you go to a um, camp, maybe chances are you're going to see bunk beds because they occupy less space or optimize space. So three, four, five, six people can sleep in the same cabin. Yeah. Cama, como se llama eso? Camarote in, in my Spanish. In my Spanish, camarote. I don't know if Edith says camarote when you have Two beds, one on top of each other. Litera. Litera. Yeah, we say Litera. camarote, Liana. How do you say it? Do you have the word camarote in, in Palmira? Same. Same. Yeah. Okay. Do we have anybody who's from another planet here? No. Everybody from Colombia? Yeah, because maybe they, they have a different word in Argentina. I would like to know that. Litera, Camarote, and what about Argentina? What about Spain? We need to ask Juan Pablo. Yeah, what do you call that? Interesting. Okay, so another thing that is interesting in this reading up to this point is that she starts to describe, you know, in full detail her surroundings. Number one, because she's not interested. She's skeptical. She's grossed out by much of what she's going to be surrounded by. But she notices everything because she's, she's what? She's blocking everything, I guess. So she notices things. So let's imagine this point, and I'm going to create this piece of homework. But I don't want you to do anything if you don't want to. This is optional. Then I stepped into my cabin. I saw my 
three bunk mates, the people that were going to be with me in that cabin. I looked around. My question is, what did she see? Knowing her personality, knowing that she's, if she, if you meet this, this girl, obviously no affinity at all with this girl. You don't know this girl from Eve. She's just another girl. And you see the way she behaves, you would think ah, she's a bitch. Why? Because she's grossed out by everything. She's kind of scared. So you're like, oh, no, I hate her. You know, because kids are like that. So knowing her personality, what do you think she's going to see? Okay. And this is for homework. I want you to think about it. And once again, but listen to that. Pay attention. But now this, listen to this, the contrast. And I want you to start formulating your expectation. Look, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I will make some new friends. She's starting to think positive, right? I thought maybe I'll meet some kids who are a lot like me and we'll have a great summer. But contrast. But then I stepped into my cabin. I saw the three bunk mates, my three bunk mates. I looked around. What did she see? You can run an experiment too. Do it organically, you know, from your brain. And then do it with chat GPT. Give chat GPT like, you know, like from here, you know, like plug this whole thing, copy and paste all this, right? And tell chat GPT, what did she see, you think? <laughs> or complete this story and see what happens, how the chat thinks and how you think. Compare that, play games. If you have time, obviously, because you're busy people like me. There you go. And that's our reading for today, for tonight. You're okay. free to go. We comment in the, in, in the WhatsApp. What's up? We, we comment the, 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 the answer. Sure. In the yes, absolutely. The WhatsApp group is open to do whatever you want with it. Put it there and other people will respond. I'm sure. Okay. All right. So, hey, have a beautiful Friday or the rest of it that you have ahead of you. Have fun. Liana maybe is going out. Liana is saying. <laughs> Juanca maybe is going out. Somebody's going out. Nobody's going out. Okay. So then I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow, three, we discuss pronunciation. Okay, it's going to be fun pronunciation, I guarantee you. All right? I so until tomorrow. Have fun thank and you thank you very much for this session. Thank you. Oh, nice. Right. Thank, thank you. Lovely, you. lovely Liana. Oh, nice. nice reading. Oh, that's nice. Happy Friday. Have a good night, guys. Thank you very much. Eddie, Yana, everybody.